Today's episode of Daily Good News, we're gonna talk about a 12 year old from Chicago and how he's giving back to his community. We're gonna talk about a catering company and what they're doing for hospital workers. All of that and some mo on the Daily Good News. <laughs> Cue it. What's up everybody, it's your girl Jessica, AKA J Hart, and I am your host of the Daily Good News. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when a new episode drops every day. Now, as always, we're gonna take a minute to do a little vibe check. <laughs> vibe check, one, two, one, two. How you doing, how you feeling? Take a moment to be present and take a deep breath in. Let's get right to the good news. For our first good news story of the day, we're gonna head over to Chicago, Illinois, where a 12 year old is doing something very kind and compassionate for his local community. His name is Jock Hill Jackson, and he actually has a nonprofit called Project I Am, where he normally distributes bags with hygiene products and other necessities to the homeless in his community. With everything going on right now, he decided that he needed to do something different to give back. So Jack Kill started putting together bags that he calls blessing bags, which are filled with daily essentials like hand sanitizer, tissues, and more, and is dropping them outside a local senior home. So far, Jack Hill has dropped off over 300 blessing bags. The 12 year old was actually honored last year as a CNN Heroes Young Wonder. For our next good news story of the day, I wanna talk about a grassroots movement focused on redirecting excess food from farmers to charitable organizations. The movement is called FarmLink. It was started by a group of students from Brown University. The group of students are redirecting food waste from farmers to charitable organizations like food banks. And after starting their grassroots movement in April, the group has now grown to a team of 20 students from other universities like Stanford, Harvard School of Business, Cornell University and more. So far, they have moved over 239,000 pounds of food from farmers to food banks, and they have also paid over $4,500 in wages. They raise money to purchase the excess food from farmers and have moved food in six states with the goal of moving at least 1 million pounds by the end of May. For our next good news story of the day, I want to talk about a brand new study out of Princeton University that's all about gardening. This brand new study has found that gardening actually brings very high levels of happiness as well as meaningfulness, especially to those who do vegetable gardening. The study found that the levels of happiness for home gardeners was actually higher for vegetable gardeners, low-income gardeners, and for women. For our next good news story, I want to head over to Washington State and talk about potatoes. That's right. Washington potato growers are donating potatoes to those in need. They are giving away 200,000 pounds of potatoes at the Tacoma Dome to help those struggling. They have also held events around the state and have so far donated over 300,000 pounds of potatoes. For our last good news story of the day, I want to talk about a catering company that was going out of business and decided that they wanted to use this time to give back. The company is called Cater Cow. They are a New York City and LA based catering marketing place that has now started feeding hospital staff. Co-founder Sean Lee and his team started Cater Cow Cares so that they can donate meals to hospitals. They set up GoFundMe campaigns to raise money to purchase these meals and they partnered with mainly independently owned eateries. What's also very important is that Cater Cow does not take a cut out of any of the money they have raised. So far, Cater Cow has raised over $70,000 and delivered 5,000 meals. That was 
today's episode of Daily Good News. Comment below and let me know what was your favorite story from today's episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when a new episode drops every day. And make sure you hit share. Share this with your friends and family and let them know about all the good news happening around the world every single day. If you want to read more good news, head over to lvevolution.media where you can also shop our merchandise. I'm your host, Jessica, AKA J Hart, and I'll see you later. And that's a wrap. <laughs>